Gigi. Gigi. Hey. I really like the designs of the green onions. Look at it. It has like five shoots coming out of it. They're so unique that way. And then the citronella is unique because it smells really citrusy. Like super clear, vivid smell. It smells really fresh. Oh, and the Napa cabbage. They're unique because they have like this small little pokies on them. Like once you touch them, like behind the ridges over there, there's a lot of pokies. Cilantro, it's just nostalgia for me because it just reminds me of high school because in high school I used to eat all the cilantro in the school's garden. And then the tomatoes, they're just cool because they have these, these are actually not spiders. That one video I said it was spiders, it's a seed. They just have these seeds that just come and decorate them because look, there's one over here and then there's another one over there, up there, yeah. And then these strawberries, they're just nice and red all the time. And there's like a, and they're just interesting because one side always gets weighed down and then every day it just keeps changing. But this side currently is weighed down. Um, by weighed down, I mean like, it's just like, it's so droopy. And then the eggplant, let me just tell you, I already say it so many times, but it's super soft. The leaves are just super furry and they're just, I don't know, they're just neat. Um, mint just reminds me of, uh, me, of my family, of my mom and dad, because, yeah, because we always have a, this in every meal we have, everything we eat always have a little bit mint. I wouldn't be surprised if we had cereal with that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. Mm, sometimes I just make my, my own self laugh, but no one is laughing at me. But basil, it's just, it reminds me of rabbits. I used to um, have a friend that had a rabbit, and I used to feed the um, basil to the rabbit, and it just reminds me of that rabbit, the two white fluff balls that, um, yeah. And bok choy, do you see that little, those little bugs on it? It just has a bunch of little bugs on it. Um, I, they start with an A, I just don't know how to say it, and I'm just going to be embarrassed if I say it, but yeah, it starts with an A, and it's just crowding all over the bok choy. It kind of scares me. Usually I'm not that scared of bugs, but this one, I don't know what it is, and it's just, it just crowds over like one po seed pod, and it's just like, why? But yeah, it's fine. Um, just let it be. Uh, this one just reminds me of alcohol, because I accidentally poured alcohol on it, and so every time I come out here, I just... It just that's alcohol right there it's just but it, in real it's actually just pepper though ginger i just really love ginger i actually really love ginger if there's one food that i can't live without it's probably ginger because i put i eat ginger with like a lot of things and i can just eat it plain too so i really like ginger ginger is just amazing but it's not growing it's just sitting there um i watched a video on how to grow it but it's just not working out tomato just reminds me of my sister because my sister really loves tomato so that's just my sister right there and lavender, sadly, it's not growing anymore. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know. I keep. I did so much research on it too because this was the one plant that I knew was hard to take care of. And then it's just like, uh, it's they're all dying. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Back to another pepper. And then these ones I germinated, so hopefully they grow. This is spider web. Ooh. It looks like it's kind of, it looks like a, a monkey, it's like a gorilla climbing something. I think the spider is camera shy, let me just, I'm just gonna stop filming.